Hey guys, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd make this video and yeah, taking a break for a minute. It's the, it's the middle of bloody October. I came out in, bloody, in a thermal jacket and I'm sweltering. I don't know what's going on, it's Wales. It's meant to be bloody freezing this time of year. So, today's video is gonna be on a lens that I picked up on Amazon a few years ago now, I think. And I haven't made a video on it until now because I couldn't really think of any reason to make a video on it. Because I already have that one video on a 25mm 1.8 and that's like one of my most viewed videos. The main reason I wanted to make this video is because this new lens I found is significantly better than it. Basically take all its perks or all its good features of that last lens and take away all the bad ones. That's this lens I'm gonna be showing you today. Okay, so let me introduce you to the stars of the show. So, this is the lens I reviewed before. It's the 25mm f1.8, no, f1.4 um, C mount lens. This is the, I don't know, you can see them, loads of different brands and even non brands like Fujian and things like that. So creepy being here on my own. One of the uh, drawbacks I said to it was its uh, build quality and the not too great uh, image quality, but uh, the price, you know, you pretty much didn't have a reason not to get it. And it was, I think it was about uh, 15 pound back then. It's 11 pound now, and I think you probably even get them for 10 pound. This, on the other hand, this, you can find this again with uh, under many different brands, but uh, this one I think is the Pixco one. This is a 25 millimeter, 1.8. Though, to be fair, at 1.4, this isn't really that usable, right? Uh, but this one, unlike the 35mm Fujian and this, I, can't, I don't know really how else to say it. It has perfect image quality. Like, seriously, no, there's no flaws with it. Wide open, I'm on about now. Um, no softness to speak of. It's 1.8 to f16. 25 millimeters, it's a clickless aperture. Um, it says it can fit on APS-C. Uh, I don't know if it can. I've never found a C mount to APS-C. There might be some C mounts to Sony cameras. I've never found one for Canon. So please don't ask me, you know, can this fit on a 5D Mark III or can it fit on a bloody 600D or anything like that. It says APS-C, I'm just gonna say micro four thirds. Anyway, like I said, you know, this and, oh, and uh, this is around 20 pound. So this is a little bit more than what this used to be, but for the extra five that you're spending on this, yeah, I'd say it's bloody well worth it. And yeah, I, I suppose you, you can see it just in the, t in the examples I'm showing you right now. Um, yeah, there's, um, there's very little, argument you can make for this one. I mean, yeah, you can say that, oh, the style of this one is what is sort of appealing, you know, if you want sort of an artistic sort of thing. But to be honest, I'd say go for this one and just stick some sort of filter on it. Um, oh, and yes, another thing as well, this one actually has a proper filter size, 37 millimeter filter thread size. So you can actually get things for this. This one doesn't have a filter thread on the end. It looks like it, but it's not. It's just they've just got ground rings inside it, of which cause flaring because they've got a bit of a, a gloss to them. This one doesn't have any of that. So, yep, yeah, build quality of this is stellar. That's, I'm not exaggerating there. The focus throw 
is rather small. You know, as you can, I don't know, I'll do a close up on it. As you can see, it's rather short. So for those of you who want to do very fine focus uh, adjustments, it is a bit difficult for that. But for those of you who want to do long, who want to do very extreme focus pulls, you know, from closest to infinity, it's very easy to do, and you don't have, to, you're not going to be twisting your hand at all. Oh, it's a ladybug. Hello. Oh, cool. My lapel mic is joined by a ladybug. Okay. But, um, oh, and another perk this one has over this one, the close focus distance. This one comes with these two macro rings. This one doesn't really need them. It's got a minimum focus distance of 0.2, which I don't know if that's in feet. I'm assuming it is. 0.2 feet, which, what is that? 0.2, I don't know. But uh, yeah, brilliant lens. Would highly recommend it. Um, yeah, let's get this one to the same amount of views as this video that one had. <laughs> no, I, um, uh, f as far as my videos go, I know I haven't been uploading for a while, but it's simply because I haven't had the motivation to really. And I don't know, I was, I was never really happy with the style of videos I was making, you know, with the whole light box and things like that, because they required an awful lot of prep in order to put them together. Not so much in the editing, you know, that, that was the main thing. I wanted to streamline the editing side of it, but it I got bored with it. So I'm hoping this more spur of the moment, unscripted sort of thing, like I said before, inspired by sort of James Popsy, because I really, I really, really do like his style, just talking to camera very uh, relaxed and nonchalantly. And just it's just like you're talking to a mate, really. And I think I prefer that. But um, yeah, uh, I'm hoping I'm going to carry on making more videos. Excuse the angle for this, by the way. I had, I've only brought a small little man for a tripod with me, so, and I've been struggling to find a place to set the camera down on that would be not me looking down on the camera too much. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you'd like me to do a review on the Saramonic, by the way, um, screw it, I'll just give me opinions right now. Pretty good. Uh, a little more expensive than I would like to spend on something of this build quality. But, um, yeah, they seem fine so far. I mean, you can hear me in this right now, so what well, they sound like. But, um, yeah, I'm not fussed on this. Seriously, uh, Saramonic, if you're watching this, I've seen your other, your other um, wireless kits, and they've got the little aerials. Why couldn't you do that for these? These, this, look at the length. This fits in your pocket. This sticks out, that's about six inches worth, that is. That's ridiculous, and it's floppy, and and it's the same on the camera. The receiver's got it as well, but, I mean, come on, guys. Really? Did you, did you have to do this? But, uh, anyway, um, I think I'm gonna wrap this video up there now. And yeah, let me know if you like this sort of format of video. I'm melting right now. Uh, yeah, so I don't really know how to end, wrap this video up, to be honest. It is creepy sitting here with a very dark forest right next to you. And just expecting to see some, someone, someone or something step from behind a tree. And then as I go to look again, he's, they're gone. It's creep. Why am I doing this? I'm talking. I'm creeping myself out right now. See, I creep myself out. I thought I saw something move. Anyway, um, I'm gonna leave this video there. Highly recommend this. I'll leave a link in the description. You can find them on Amazon and eBay and everywhere, pretty much. All you gotta do, if you if you're unsure about which one it is, right? This one will probably be the cheaper one. This one looks tall in the videos, and these come in silver and black, see, and these do as well. They both come in silver and black. Uh, these ones will look tall. This one will look more squat and wide. So it's the easiest way to, easiest way to dif differentiate the two. Go for the squat and wide one, and they, they're around £20. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Excuse, I've just noticed that the exposure is going apeshit right now. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you prefer this one or the older way I used to make videos. And also let me know any videos you'd like me to make in the future. I mean, even if it's not kit-based reviews, uh, just anything really, just ultimate travel kit or anything like that. So I'm going to leave it there and I hope you're all doing well and I'll see you in the next video.